Even the poorest in a rich society are vastly better off in material terms than they once were. So this engine has been so much more productive in improving the condition of the poor than any of the schemes of equalization of incomes. Now you would think we would pause to appreciate this. This is astonishing. And yet, not only do we not appreciate it, it's not well, present company accepted. We love it. But no one else knows about it. I don't mean that they're unhappy. They don't know. It's not reported. In classrooms, nobody learns this. In the newspapers, nobody learns this. And how do I know that nobody learns this? Is this just a dramatic remark that I'm making? Actually, they did a study of it not too long ago. Um, the late Hans Rosling's web project, Gapminder, did a survey of people in 14 different countries. They asked 12,000 people spread over 14 countries the following multiple choice question. Do you believe that the proportion of the world's population living in extreme poverty over the past 20 years has A, doubled, B, stayed roughly the same, or C, been cut in half? Well, the answer, as you know, is that it's been cut in half. 95% of Americans got that question wrong. They don't even know. I mean, imagine being that ignorant about what must be one of the most momentous achievements in all of world economic history. It's happening all around you. You don't even know it. That's amazing. And that's because somebody somewhere with the responsibility to convey this information to us is ungrateful, is demanding more, is impatient, is always critical of capitalism and can't give it credit for anything. In the early 1800s, 45% of all children died before age five. That's now 4%. In 1800, people living in what economists call extreme poverty, you're talking 90%. It's under 10% today. Oh, they'll say, if they do acknowledge this because you force them to, they'll say, oh, that's because of redistribution. Governments are responsible for that. All right, here's why that's wrong. <laughs> where did the increased social spending, where did the increase in the welfare state take place? That took place in the rich countries where they had already gotten rid of extreme poverty. The poverty reduction took place in the poor countries that can't afford a welfare state. That's the answer. The poverty reduction happened in the places where there wasn't an increase in the welfare state. Extreme poverty was gone from the Western world long before there was a welfare state. 